Turning now to Detroit's east side, where a 52-year-old woman was shot and killed inside her SUV. And it may have been the bizarre story her boyfriend told police that turned him into a suspect. Thank you for joining us. I'm Amira David in for Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. Investigators say the victim was killed near Houston, Whittier and Hayes. 7 News reporter Kimberly Craig is live on the east side. So Kim, is the boyfriend now under arrest? Alan, no, not at least right now. He is hospitalized, though, after complaining of chest pains. His girlfriend, Vanita Gray, was found shot to death across the street here in front of that furniture store after someone fired at least 21 shots. The fire in progress, Hayes and Houston Whittier. Again, Hayes and Houston Whittier. Phil Carr says the vehicle was full of holes. He sees the vehicle was full of holes. I don't know if anyone is inside. Again, Hayes and Whittier. Around 1.30 this morning, 52-year-old Vanita Gray was found dead in the driver's seat of her SUV. She had been shot multiple times with some of the bullets piercing the windshield and a tire. Vanita was less than a mile away from her home here on Lake Point where she lived with her boyfriend. And his sister told me the only way Vanita would be out at that hour was if she was looking for him. I'm told Vanita was wearing lounge clothes and flip-flops and it didn't take long for her boyfriend to surface. Seventeen minutes after Vanita Gray was shot, her boyfriend flagged down police here at Mack Avenue in Brush. And sources say he told officers a very bizarre story. He was armed and said he had just shot and killed the person who killed his girlfriend. But he didn't provide any details to support any of that. Vanita's boyfriend told police he was having chest pains. He was taken to Detroit Receiving Hospital, where he remains, and in the daylight back at the scene on Houston Whittier at Hayes, where Vanita was found dead in her vehicle, you can see where a number of gunshots hit the windows and siding of Al's furniture store. And you can only wonder why anyone would unload so much anger on the woman everyone called Peaches. Her boyfriend, now the suspect, and his mother tells me that Vanita and her son showered each other with affection and were very much in love. And a source tells me that a relative of Vanita's boyfriend told someone that he confessed to her murder. Police say that relative of his needs to come forward and talk to police. Reporting live on Detroit's Eastside, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Troubling story, Kim. Thank you.